I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times, and this week I'm reviewing Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the first installment of a new franchise inspired by J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. It was open? Just a smidge. That crazy Niffler thing's on the loose again? Uh, might be. Then look for it. Look! Oh. His neck's bleeding. Oh. He's hurt. Oh, wake up. Mr. Nomad. <laughs> Mercy Lewis, what is that? Oh. Nothing to worry about. That is a Mert lap. What else have you got in there? Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is set decades before the events of the Harry Potter series, and it unfolds not in contemporary Britain, but in 1926 New York. Eddie Redmayne plays Newt Scamander, a wizard who studies magical creatures from all over the world and keeps them tucked away inside his enchanted suitcase. Naturally, a few of these fantastic beasts escape and run amok, putting Newt at the center of a growing conflict between the wizards and witches of New York and the muggles, or no mages, who are oblivious to their existence. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them reteams much of the talent behind the Harry Potter movies, including the director David Yates and much of his below-the-line production team. Most importantly, the script was written by none other than J.K. Rowling herself. Even still, the movie never quite reclaims the magic of the Harry Potter series, there are lovely performances from Redmayne, Catherine Waterston, and especially Dan Fogler as a nomad who gets drawn into the action. You wiped his memory, right? The nomad. The what? No magic. The non-wizard. Sorry, we call them muggles. I don't think I'm doing it. Give it away. I ain't got the brains to make this up. But the story struggles to find a proper groove, and the beasts, fantastic as they are, too often feel like a frenetic distraction from the movie's human concerns. There are apparently four more Fantastic Beasts movies planned for the future, but you leave this one in no hurry to find out what happens next. I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times.